Hey, Steve. Hey. I'm fine, yourself? Struggling with what? Well, Steve, I told you from the beginning that I was celibate and I'm going to remain celibate until I get married. You've been fine with that for the past 10, 10 months. If you can't hold out anymore, stop torturing yourself. We can just be friends. I, I mean, I don't want to let you go either. Well, hold on a second. I got a beep, okay? Hold on. Hey, Brandon. Of course. Come over. I miss you. Yeah, when you come in, please bring me some ice cream, okay? Yeah. Drop by McDonald's and bring me some McFlurry. Oreo McFlurry with some extra Oreos and stuff. Oh, as you know, everybody know that I'm celibate. All my friends and families know that I'm celibate. My pastor, my, you know, choir members, uh, members in the choir and at my church, everybody know I've been celibate. You know, all this stuff we're doing, you need to bring some rubbers with you, okay? Because I can't have any weird stuff going on. Mm -mm. No, I can't be blowing up, stomach popping here. Everything's starting to just look all swollen, no. So make sure you bring some rubber. All right, see you later. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, bye. Steve, look, I feel your pain. I feel where you're coming from going through the same thing. That's why I always tell you, you have to keep praying. You even need to come over so we can pray together. I mean, no, not, not, not tonight. You know, tomorrow, like in the daytime, come over so we can pray together. Sometimes praying is not enough. You have to fast and pray too. Let's do it together, okay? Yeah. Come on, be strong for me, okay? Love you. I got to go to bed. I got to go to bed.